Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. I watched a tutorial on how to record myself on the screen and record the screen at the same time on the Macintosh, so this is one of the first times you'll see my face, and let me know how you all like it. So I've got a 6 in rows 1 and 2 in boxes 1 and 3 here. So I can place a 6 in row 3 of box 2 in those two highlighted cells. Now in the middle of 3 rows, I, there's some 4s, so I can do a 4 there. And in the bottom 3 rows, this is actually quite helpful because I've got a 7-6 pair, easily obvious, in box 7, row 8, and row 7, box 8. That means... These two must be a 6-7 pair down here in row 9, box 9, and 6 in column 8 looks down. That tells me the order of this 7-6 pair. Now, I do get a 1 there, based on those two 1s, in row 7 and 9, and that's all I get. Now, there are no 5s in columns 1 or 2, so I have no repeats Oh, actually, I do. Here's a 6-7, here's a 6-7. So guess what? These two are a 6-7 pair. 6-7, not 8. So 4 is down to those two spots in row 4. Interesting. I just realized row 4 has no digits in it. Now in the middle of three columns, those two twos force a 2 in one of these two spots. 4, 8, 3, 9, 6, 7, otherwise, I'm done. On the rightmost, well, there's a 6. And there's a 1. Uh, beyond that, 8, 2, 9, 4, 7, wants a piece. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, so what other things can I place easily? I need to place a 5 in box 7, but they can't go there because of this 5 in column 3, so 5 is in one of those two spots. Okay, 3 can't be here, based on this, so 3 in box 9 is in one of those two spots. That puts it in one of these two. Four doesn't go here, but there's not a four in row seven or eight. Same with two, and there's no two in row seven or eight. But looking at column eight, I see five digits, one, two, three, four, five. I need one, three, four, and five to fill out the rest. This can't be one or five, it's three or four. Neither of these could be four, so these two are one, three, five, but that's not five. This one can't be one or three, one twice, so that one's four or five. And whichever one of those isn't 1 is going to end up as a 3, 4, 5 triple in column 8. Now, I think I have to look at the bottom third of the grid. I've got 1, 6, 7, 8. I need 2, 4, 5, 3, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, here's a 4-5 and there's a 4-5, but they don't interact. As expected, other than 3 there, I have nothing else to go with. Let's see, these cells can't be 6, 7, 9. So, 1 and 4... This can't be 1 or 5. That one sees 2 and 3. Okay, these all see 3 by box. That one also gets rid of 4 and 8. That's no help. Yeah, I got nothing useful coming out of this so far. Okay, this can't be 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 2, 4, or 9 only. These definitely can't be 6, 7, or 5. So 
So column three will finish very early with that configuration, which tells me nothing useful other than one has to go there. Oh, but it could also go here. No, actually. Yep. Yeah, and the reason is six seven. Six seven. So six seven have to appear in those spot cells there. Neither of these can be one because of a pair. These can't be one by box. This can't be one by the one in row two looking left. So one's here. One's there. That puts a one in one of those three, but this is likely not one because I probably have an X-wing on ones in rows four and five and columns one and eight. Now, this can't be five, but there's nothing else looking into it. I've got two, four, eight, nine. In box five, I need one, three, five, six, seven otherwise. We know none of those are seven. That's not five by row. The that's not that's not three and that's not six. Okay, these may be a one, three, five, six, seven quintuple. You, you notice I have not placed two, four, eight, nine in any of those cells. So two, four, eight, and nine have to appear in these highlighted cells. I'll make them dark blue. These five cells I'll make dark red. So this cell can't be one, that's the key. So out of two, four, eight, nine, and this cell isn't not eight, this can't be two or four actually. That's eight or nine. This is eight or nine because neither can be two or four, so guess what? Row four is basically now resolved as a one, three, five, six, seven quintuple and a two, four pair, and then an eight, nine pair. Because I've got this two, four sitting here, but I could have seen two, four, two, four. That would have been easier to spot once I'd ruled both two and four out of this cell. Oh well, lesson learned. Now. Unfortunately, I can't resolve one, three, five, six, seven anywhere in either row four or box five. I really wish I could. Now, this is two, three, four, five, eight, but not five or three. This one could be two, it can't be three or four, it could be five or eight. Two, three, four, five, eight form a quintuple in box nine. This cell's the only one left for the lower third of the grid. I may as well fill it in. It can't be one, three, six, seven, eight. This is two, four, five, or nine. Okay. So what that means, look where eight goes. Nowhere in this box. Eight's here, so it can't go here. Eight must go there. Therefore, these cells can't be eight. Those two, one of them must be. Okay, for my next trick, I think I'll look at the middle columns. Uh, these can't be three, two, three, four, or eight. Column four. Now this one sees five, six, and seven. That's helpful. That one sees one and six, which is not quite so helpful. Okay, these ones can't be two or seven. And I have nothing else to go on them. These ones can't be two, six, or nine. And 
I only get some row help for cleaning these three cells of column six. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, six can go there, but that crosses a region. Oofta. Okay, what about those cells? They cannot be one, five, six, or eight. Okay, other than seven being there, oh, I can't even do that because this could be seven. Let's see, these cells are not two, four, eight, or nine. That might help. I get neither of those being five or one. This is two thirds of a three, six, seven, but I have nothing else to go with it. Actually, wait a minute. Did I just find a hidden 5? I think I did. These cells can't be 5 because of the 5 in column 7. And then these cells can't be 5. Those two can't be 5 either, so that's a 5. I use dark green for the hidden hidden cells. 5, 1, 4, 3 are placed. Column 8's done all of a sudden. Okay, these are neither 3 nor 9. Neither of those are 4. That doesn't help me, though. But this actually must be 8. Column 7, because that cell cannot be. Let's see, this is neither 3 nor 9. So 2, 3, 5, 7, that's a quad. 2, 3, 5, that's a triple. Two, four, seven, that's a triple. So the right third of this grid, the rightmost three columns, just just like that, resolved to nothing but triples and quadruples. Uh, there's a nine in row one, that places the one, which places this one. And therefore these are not one, neither is that. Six, seven, finally resolves that these can't be six or seven. One and three resolves that not being three, so guess what? There's a six, and there's a six. Seven, six, seven, not six. That must be six, because this one isn't. Let's see. Oh, we've already known this one can't be one. Okay, row one is reduced to four, eight. That cell is not seven. This cell can't be one, but I don't have one placed. In, row, in box seven yet. This cell can't be one. No, one, three, and that can't be one. That's a five. Duh. Let's see, so these aren't five. Okay, what's left? Nothing easily other than eight must be in one of those two. Okay, this is now a pair. It cannot be, oh, this must be eight, nine. These two must be eight, nine. Looking just at row four, the eight in column one will tell me the order. Nine, eight, this has to be the only thing that's left. Uh, it's a three, which thankfully still works, so that's a three. Oh, this could still be any of the digits. <laughs> I thought box seven was going to resolve itself. It doesn't. 
I've got nothing here either. Oh, but there's a 2-5 pair in row 7. That places this 9. That's not 9, so column 3 is reduced to a 2 4 eight. Let's see, is there anything obvious, yep, that I'm missing? Yeah, like this 2-3-5 triple, so this can't be 2. That places this 4. And these are not 4, and neither can be 5. So this is 1 or 8. Nothing is resolved there yet. But the 4 in column 3 will place the 8 and the 2. That places this 4. So absolutely none of these cells are 4. That's not 2. Well, that's not helpful. But the 4 in column 6 will place the 5. 2. Nine, four, three. Now we're getting somewhere. Seven, three, and box three is now done. All I'm doing is just filling in digits. This can't be five or seven. That's a three. That sorts out the one and three. It sorts out four and two in row four. Eight, one, nine, eight, seven, five. Okay, and let's see. These are 4 and 5, and I know the order. And these are 3 and something, and the 3 has to go here, and the 9 has to go there. Okay, so 16 minutes. That's not bad. I think... If there's something I can improve, it's scanning of the grid, potentially. And something I did well was I spotted the hidden quintuple and quadruple in row four. That made the rest of the puzzle a lot easier to resolve once I figured it out. But thank you for joining me this afternoon, and let me know how well you get along with me showing my face for once.